the question that was being asked of me was a different one, which was, did she also need an amputation? Now, looking back on that night, I'd love so desperately to believe that I treated that woman on that night with the same empathy and compassion I'd shown the 27-year-old uh, newlywed who came to the ER three nights earlier with lower back pain that turned out to be advanced pancreatic cancer. Uh, in her case, I knew there was nothing I could do that was actually going to save her life. The cancer was too advanced. But I was committed to making sure that I could do anything possible to make her stay more comfortable. I brought her a warm blanket and a cup of coffee, um, brought some for her parents. But more importantly, you see, I passed no judgment on her because obviously she had done nothing to bring this on herself. So why was it that just a few nights later as I stood in that same ER and determined that my diabetic patient did indeed need an amputation, why did I hold her in such bitter contempt? You see, unlike the woman the night before, this woman had type 2 diabetes. She was fat. And we all know that's from eating too much and not exercising enough, right? I mean, how hard can it be? As I looked down at her in the bed, I thought to myself, if you just try caring even a little bit, you wouldn't be in this situation at this moment with some doctor you've never met about to amputate your foot. Why did I feel justified in judging her? I'd like to say I don't know, but I actually do. You see, in the hubris of my youth, I thought I had her all figured out. She ate too much, she got unlucky, she got diabetes, case closed. Ironically, at that time in my life, I was also doing cancer research, immune-based therapies for melanoma, to be specific. And in that world, I was actually taught to question everything, to challenge all assumptions and hold them to the highest possible scientific standards. Yet, when it came to a disease like diabetes, that kills Americans eight times more frequently than melanoma, I never once questioned the conventional wisdom. 